Hey guys, Ray again. As you know by now, I like to make things. I like to make a lot of things. But I also like to grow things. And here, I'm growing tomatoes. Now last year, I showed how I made a homemade cherry picker to pick cherries off of my cherry tree. This year, I'd like to show you how I string tomato plants. That's right, I don't use tomato cages. I string the tomato plants. And it works quite well. I've been doing this for about six years now. And honestly, it is the best way that I found. I don't like using the cages. My results were mixed. These have been giving me consistent good results ever since I started doing this. Let me show you the individual steps for stringing up tomatoes. Okay so the first thing you need is a bit of natural fiber string. In this case it is jute. Works very well. You don't want to use nylon or polyester because they are too slippery. A natural fiber like this is a bit more grippy on the stalk of the tomato. Uh, the next thing you're going to do, I'm just going to drop this out of the way. The next thing you're going to do is make a loop. So you make a loop about like so. It's not important. And be generous here. You're just going to make a knot on the end. So what you want to make sure is that this loop is big enough that you can drop your entire spool of string in like so. So I'm going to undo that and then we need to hang it. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is loop the string over your supporting structure. Like so. And that's it. It goes on that quick. Alright, here we are at the base. Here's that string that I ran and you can notice that I ran it a little long. You can see I've got I've got one string going up here and this is another string that I added and you'll notice that it's actually kind of loose. What ends up happening is the furriness of the stalk of the tomato with the coarseness of the natural fiber of the string uh, have a tendency to grip each other very well. So all you'll need to do here is put a loose fitting knot. So I'm just going to go ahead, you can see there's my string. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to knot it once and pull it through a second time and make a loose knot. You can see I'm not tightening it down to the, to the stalk. I don't want to choke the plant. Then I'm just going to tighten one knot against the other and that is it. That is a tight fit. That's not going to choke down. Next, we're going to wrap it around the stalk. All right, you should be able to see this pretty clearly. Now, here's my string. You can see how loose and floppy it is. I'm not worried about that looseness right now. Here's the stalk that we are after. What I'm going to do, it doesn't matter what direction you do this in, I'm just going to gently take the leaves on the branches and just move them around and gently wrap the string around it, being careful not to break off any of the, the blooms or pinch any of the leaves between the string and the stalk or any of the branches. We're just going to gently wind it. And don't worry, I'll give you a close-up of this as soon as I'm done and you'll see how it went. You see, I'm just gently winding this it's better when you do this sooner rather than later. When they get too long, it becomes very difficult to do this. So just very gently. I'm not tightening the string. I'm not making anything tight. I'm just wrapping it around nice and easy. Making sure we don't pinch anything or break any blooms. There you go. Uh, there's no rule of thumb for how many winds I give it. How many times I wind it around. I just wind it just, you know, play it by ear common sense will dictate now you can see it's attached to the string it's also loose at the bottom all right so once you've got it strung as you can see here these have been strung you need to keep up with it so I'm gonna show you how I string it it's very simple I just gently pull the branches over be careful you don't break any of the blooms off or damage the plant and you just give it a gentle wind. And I have to do this maybe every three or four days. I just go on down the line. This one needs a little bit more. And that's it, one or two winds every three or four days. And the, and the tomatoes reach for the sky. Here you can see the tomatoes. Uh, I've got about five of them in this box. And they are reaching up they are about 
six foot right now. They're gonna reach to the top here. And the reason we have this wire mesh is yes, they will grow all the way across to the other side. And then we are picking tomatoes from the, uh, the roof area, basically, of the pergola here. So it is a very nice system. It works very well. Uh, the only drawback I would say is that it will cause the tomatoes, it stimulates them to grow. And here you go. I gotta pick some of these uh, right now, actually. So as soon as I'm done recording, I'll pick them. But yeah, that's the only real drawback is it forces the tomatoes to get very, very long. And uh, they do that very, very fast. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and seeing how I string these tomatoes. If this is something you can do in your garden, I would recommend it. The one drawback is that you've got to have a structure above from which to hang the strings. That is the one little drawback. But if your garden design has that ability, you'll be fine. Otherwise, cages is probably the only way you can do it. But for now, thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my future videos. And don't forget to hit that little bell so you can be notified every time I make a new video. Thanks again.